Hey, what's going on, fam? He wanted to share with you a little bit this evening. Uh, just getting done from uh, Kirtan with my Kirtan brothers and sisters. Uh, doing some some chanting here this evening in Lancaster with the Maz and the Babas. And uh, doing a little bit of, a bit of thinking today. A uh, recent theme for me coming up a lot has been, you know, this idea of our unique, authentic soul signal. Like, what is that in, in learning to follow that? So what I find is that, you know, we all have this unique set of um, preferences, likes, dislikes, um, things that we're good at, things that we're not good at, talents, talents, skills, traits, and, uh, you know, it's different for everybody, but it's unique and authentic. And it seems we're the happiest whenever we tune into that and follow that and allow that to guide us through life. So we all have this. I think some people are in tune with it more than others. Some people choose to follow their unique authentic soul signature, soul signal, and kind of remain in a state of flow. Others resist it. I find that whenever we follow that signal, life is better. Life is easier. Life supports us. Um, We're provided for. Things seem to move out of our way. Opportunities seem to come to us. We are able to maintain a greater state of joy. Whenever we resist that soul signal, you know, I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing some videos over the past uh, couple of days here on alignment and um, inspired action. Whenever we resist that soul signature, that soul signal, I find that we're less happy. There seems to be a drag, a resistance that's taking place. Life seems to be harder. Things don't happen as easily for us. Things don't move as easily for us. But whenever we take time to tap in and tune in to that signature, to that signal, which is different for everyone, life's better. It's like doing more of the things that you love, more of the things that you enjoy, more of the things that you feel called to do, and less of the things you don't. The more you follow that, there's like a knowing, an inner guidance system. There's a knowing. And, and maybe some people say, I don't know what that is. But we all do know. Some of us, um, you know, sometimes it just takes um, some, some work, I think, at allowing it to rise to the surface, maybe. So what is your unique, authentic soul signal? What is it pulsing inside of you? What is that signal inside of you calling you, compelling you? to a greater version of yourself, calling you and compelling you to a life of greater joy and peace, calling you to expand and do more of that which you're called to do and more of that which you love, more of that which you are good at. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, on unique soul signature, soul signal. How does this come up for you? Do you find this is easy for you to identify? Do you find that you're able to follow this or you're you're willing to follow this or is this something that you you resist? I find the logical mind a lot of times gets in the way of following this signal. Maybe we're compelled to do something or act or take action in a certain way. Um, But the logical mind gets in the way and stops us. This can be something as easy as taking a music lesson, buying a new instrument, asking somebody out, looking at a new job opportunity, going for a run, whatever's calling us forward that pleases us. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Hope you all have a beautiful remainder of your weekend, a beautiful Saturday evening. I look forward to hearing from you and talking to you soon. Bye-bye.